Hey everybody, and welcome to KeyboardWizard.net. This is Jordan Rudis here. I want to introduce you to the site that we just released. It's sponsored by Intel and was created by Mika Tiska and myself, Jordan Rudis. Anyway, here's how it works. You enter here, click on that, and it opens up this really cool window. Now, you're not going to need any help because, hey, I'm showing it to you. So click on No. First thing you want to do is you want to open up all the various colored spheres. So click on each one, and depending on your internet connection, it'll take a different amount of time to load in uh, the, the icons in the sphere. So mine is loading very quickly because I had these kind of open from before. So the concept is that you've got all these different icons in each one of the colored spheres, and each of the icons represents a different audio loop or different sound. Now. I created all these audio loops, but I don't remember which is which. So it's kind of fun for me as well to drag them all into this time grid and see what happens. Here's what you have to remember. You have to take the red icons and drag the red icons into the red rectangles. The purple ones will go in purple, the green will go in green, etc. And the blue will go in blue. You can layer them. You can put two blue ones on top of each other since there's two blue boxes. Notice that some are two spaces wide and some are one or three. It's all different. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Just fit them into the boxes. You also have the ability to play live. Notice the two keyboard wizards. Well, the one on the top will respond to the bottom row on your computer keyboard and the middle row on your computer keyboard. So, like if you hit the M key, for instance, I dig that one. But if you hit the Q key, so have some fun playing different keys on your computer keyboard. Yeah. You can also hit the play button and get all these different loops that you put into the time grid to happen. Let's just add one more before we do that. Here we go. Experience. Experience. So I'm just dragging things in as it's playing. And while this is happening, remember, you can also be playing live. So that's how it works. Play live. I want you all to have a great time with KeyboardWizard.net. If anybody creates anything really cool, maybe you'll find a way to share it. The one thing that you can't do in Flash is save. But I've got this cool little program called Screen Flick, I think. Yeah. And I can record my screen and capture all this stuff for you. So I hope you all have a great time. And we'll see you on the road.